the third pick is the Houston Rockets, and I'll take it. I mean, again, you know, this is a really hard pick for them. It's very not that obvious now, but I think they'll go, and they're going to select Paulo Boncaro. They already kind of opened up, whether it was on purpose or not. I think they, they already opened up the power forward position by trading Christian Wood to the Mavericks. They had kind of have that opening for him, and obviously – they're just very young. They are another team like the Thunder who they don't care about competing because their team is extremely, extremely, extremely young. And I like the idea of Boncaro be on the court, be on create his own shots along with Jalen Green out there. You don't know what Kevin Porter Jr. is going to go. And I'm looking at my phone because I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce this guy's name. But the uh, the center they had with the 16. Oh, Shang Goon. Yes, him. I'm excited. I've been hearing a lot of rumors that he's going to be like he was almost like the the sleeper, the sneaky pick of the draft last year, who's going to boom and do really, really well. So I'm excited to see how he'll do uh, along with a Boncaro and with Jalen Green and Porter Jr. And just kind of how they all kind of moved and bond together. It's young core. And I, I'm excited. that Like I said, they opened up the position. They took out Christian Wood. They can slide Bangaro in there, allow him to create his own shots. And again, become the player who – his floor or his not floor, his ceiling is supposed to be. Yeah, I agree. I think that's probably the best spot for Paolo to go to. I think either that or Orlando, where he's either the best or second best player on the team, because that way he's going to get to develop his game the most. Because like we were talking about earlier, we think that he's a type of guy who you can like actually run your offense through and for, unlike the other two. So if, yeah, him and Jalen Green could be a scary combo in the West in a few years. And yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think plus also, I think it's good that they already have like an established center as much as a second year player can be because he's probably the he's definitely the worst of the three defensively, but that can kind of like cover up for some interior defensive flaws that Paolo has, whereas the other two, especially Chet, is going to have to make up a lot of flaws defensively that the Thunder have on the inside.